Are you ahead of the game? Keep up with the latest news and commentary on markets, regulation, and more. Two wikis, video content, seven newsletters, and blogs right at your fingertips. JohnLothianNews.com Why did CME Group create the Deliverable Interest Rate Swap Futures contracts? These contracts allow market participants to gain exposure to the swaps market with all of the benefits of a futures contract. So flexible, flexible but certain execution. Um, people can, uh, will be able to choose uh, executing them on CME Globex, uh, EFRPs, blocks, or via open outcry. Do you have liquidity providers in place? Yeah, we're really excited. Um, we got four dealer banks uh, that have agreed to be market makers in the central limit order book. Well, they will be continuously streaming prices. We've got uh, Citibank, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley. In addition to that, we've had so much excitement over the contract, we've got 11 block market makers. A lot of people are also looking at the potential to transact uh, deliverable swap futures via blocks. On the block side, in we also have uh, Bank, of America, Bank of America Merrill Lynch, um, BNP Paribas, uh, Citibank, Credit Suisse, DRW Holdings, uh, Goldman Sachs, Jefferies, Nomura, Morgan Stanley, Pierpont Derivatives, and uh, Sockgen. What are the contract specifications? The contracts are going to be fixed rate contracts. So if you, if you uh, purchase the contract, you will be receiving fixed uh, on, let's say, a two-year uh, swap. Um, on the IMM date. So the swaps will be calendar swaps. So if you trade the two-year, again, a two-year calendar swap um, that would be delivered on the IMM date, and it'll be a two-year swap based upon the calendar dates uh, using modified following uh, uh, conventions typical for the OTC swap market. The only thing you need to trade the contract is a typical futures account uh, and a futures uh, broker relationship. Um, it's only if you want to take delivery, then you'll have to be able to take delivery. Do you expect the contracts to trade similar to other futures where 90% or more are offset prior to the delivery date? I think that's exactly right. I think uh, most folks will use it just like they use our treasury futures, where there's a huge amount of trading every day. Most people never even think about taking delivery. Why is now the right time to introduce deliverable swap futures? Um, people are going to be required under the new laws to clear interest rate swaps and to post initial margin on interest rate swaps for the first time ever. Estimates are that uh, initial margins required under the new regulations are going to be between $800 billion and $3 trillion. So this is a massive new cost for the marketplace um, that, uh, you know, and a massive new burden on all market participants. The great thing, one of the great things about our deliverable swap futures is they will require about half the margin of a cleared interest rate swap. So it will allow those participants to continue to operate in the marketplace to gain the access to the same types of exposure and do it with about half of the required margin. For dealers and for hedge funds, relative value players, um, we're going to be offering full margin offsets against all of our other interest rate futures. So if you're trading spreads, if you're trading swap swaps against treasuries, if you, if you um, uh, take that exposure via deliverable swap future and our treasury futures, you can basically reduce your margin requirement by about 85%. So we see huge benefits in terms of lower initial margins because it's a futures contract, because they're standardized future, futures contracts, they get a lower uh, margin period of risk, they'll have a two-day margin period of risk, whereas under Dodd-Frank, all of the cleared interest rate swaps require a five-day margin period of risk. And in addition to that, we're going to get all of the benefits of, as you said, portfolio margining, um, as we have with all of our futures. If the initial contracts are successful, do you expect to list additional contracts? We're very excited about the contract. We're hopeful that it gets good traction. 95% of futures contracts fail, so we have to see how it actually goes. But we've got hugely positive feedback from dealers, as well as from hedge funds and asset managers. So we're very excited about it. Um, people are already requesting other maturities. We've seen a huge amount of interest for a seven-year that would equate to the same duration as our 10-year futures. People are also asking for a 15-year and a 20-year. Um, in addition to that, we've had some, some requests for a zero-coupon 30-year. So before we get too far, though, 
we're only going to be listing a two-year, five-year, 10-year, and 30-year, and let's see how we get liquidity in those. If that works well, then we'll add whatever the marketplace wants. Is this a format you could use to futurize other types of swaps? And I think potentially um, you could use this for any kind of a, a futurizing, any kind of a swap contract. So in particular, you could use it not just for you know, LIBOR-based interest rate swaps, you could also do it for OIS interest rate swaps, or you could do it for interest rate swaps based in other currencies. So it's, it's huge flexibility in terms of uh, the potential.